I graduated in 2019 and I did the four year visual communication program in Ecole and Trade Lab. I've always done art since I was like literally three or four years old. So I always knew I wanted to do something in art. And initially I actually went into fine art, but then I didn't enjoy it. And I started researching more about graphic design, which is when I came to know that there's a call into it lab in Mumbai. And uh, then I applied with my portfolio and I got in. And uh, I didn't know much about graphic design and visual communication back then, but I was open to learning and I was also interested. So I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to find out what I want to do, but also what I don't want to do. I've always been more interested in the illustration part of design. and. Personally, I felt like uh, at the first two years there was a lot of illustration, but uh, after that, that wasn't. So I took it upon my own. I took it on myself to start including illustration in my assignments so that I could do it on my own. And then I also had a lot of great professors who encouraged me, which was very helpful. And after I finished, I finished my uh, degree in 2019, I decided I want to pursue an MA in illustration. And by that time, I had started, I, had, I knew I wanted to do digital illustration and then possibly go into comics later. The transition was weird because I worked for a bit after graduating from Ecole, but then the pandemic happened, so I couldn't work during the one year or so. In 2021, I started my MA in Cambridge School of Visual and Performing Arts, and that was MA Visual Communication in Illustration. And just like Ecole, it, it's a small, class and a small university so that part was very familiar there was a lot more like field work they took us to a lot of different museums and a lot of different art shows and stuff like that so in that way I got a lot more exposure but I think both was equally important like in Ecole we did a lot of class work that was also important there was a lot of similarities but also a lot of differences and it was very interdisciplinary, so I got to work with fashion students, which was also very interesting. So currently I'm working on my own comic, which I worked on for the whole of my MA year. I've only got a few chapters yet and I self-published the first chapter and I intend to keep working on it. But recently I, there's also one another avenue that I've been interested in is so last year I got diagnosed with ADHD so after doing a lot of research on it I've realized that there's a really good way I can combine illustration and art and design with neurodivergent conditions and there's a lot of different programs and also a lot of different opportunities in art therapy so I want to look into that as well for now I'm looking for a job and also freelancing from all the research that I did when I was for, trying to look for a suitable MA course, I realized that there's not a lot of MA programs focused only on comics. So at least as of now, a lot of it falls back on you. Like you have to do a lot of research on your own, watch videos, read about different comic artists, read comics itself. I'm sure if you pursue an illustration MA or an illustration postgraduate course, you will find people who are willing to help you and people who are in the industry which is what happened to me. Don't hesitate just because there isn't a lot of visible resources available. There's always stuff out there. So this is the first episode of my comic book. My character's name is Vayu. It's a adventure fantasy story. I've been working on this character for about two and a half to three years now. I first just started as character design because I was also very interested in character design. And I started developing the story and lore around it. And there's a lot of inspiration from my own South Asian roots, but also things I'm passionate about, which is fantasy and adventure. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still working on it. Uh, I have about a few more, like seven to eight chapters sketched, but I need to keep working on it. And for now, my plan is to publish it on e-comic and webtoon apps. Look forward to it.